Hello everyone and welcome to Smash Look at Simple Rockets 2. Franz here as always and this is a show where we take a first impressions look at new and upcoming titles. Today we've got Simple Rockets 2 that's developed and published by Jundro. It's in fully 3D this time because it's Simple Rockets but more. So number two is cur in currently in early access. Was granted key guys. You can find the Steam link down below and you can see up here the early access version that we're currently playing. This game allows you to build rockets, planes, rovers. Anything you want, have fun, go crazy, go nuts, blow stuff up, don't blow stuff up, whatever you want. So we're going to be jumping in here, having a little look at what we can do. So you can actually build a craft, so we go ahead in here, you can see the nice sort of kind of dance around on the screen here, you can see the, the weight and how much it costs. You've also got a range, so you get the active tool, you can change all this stuff, you can change the grid, you can change the angle snap, you can change your know, rotate parts, translate parts, you can add parts. So you can see here we've got propulsion, you could add on, we could take this off, and then we can add another bit on. If we want to, we can, uh, there we go, and the rocket will just adjust to it, which is kind of cool. I like it, I like it. Can we add that on? No, I think that it's just gonna, did that actually, yes it did. Well, we can add this on. There we go. And you can see here you've got, you know, structure. So you can actually add this in if you want to. You can then make it bigger, bigger that way. Whatever you wish. What do you got here? Side interest. So I'm going to get rid of this just now. I'm going to... Uh, is that going to be... Let's see. Cannot delete the primary command module. Fine. So not getting anything in there yet. Rover wheels, so you can actually build rovers. You can see here you get descent as well. And let's see, I wonder what happens if we actually just attach that to that. <laughs> I wonder what will happen if we did that. So you can see here there's a lot of different intricate little things here. You get advanced part settings, tinker panel. You've got stage one, stage two. So of course, a lot of rockets when they're launching will have like a stage propulsion and then they will disconnect that bit and follow on for the next bit. Else get symmetry is currently disabled for this part. You've got other bits in there and you get your view options. So now what we want to do is we want to save our craft. Tester. Let's uh <laughs> not actually sure how this is going to go, but uh we can certainly see. So we can actually start playing. So you got the designer tutorial. Is that gonna let me launch that? Let's see. Load no, wait a minute. Where's our craft that we made? There, it's there. Can we allow to launch that? Unless it won't let me launch. That may be a thing. Who knows? Oh, it is. Oh, okay. So we can launch. Hey. Right. Uh. We want you to go to 90. Okay. And go. Uh, exp I love how it's just explode. <laughs> well, that happened. So just, uh, ah, uh, okay. Let's, uh, hmm. uh, end our flight. No, undo flight. Retry. <laughs> I mean, that did kind of go pop. So let's see. And uh, let's see. We're going to open this. So throttle. Let's go. Let's go. Come on. No. You don't want to go, do you? Wait a minute. Remaining fuel. We don't have any fuel. I thought it was already in this because basically, remember, I'm just like, I boot up this game and let it go. So we're going to actually just end our flight. We're going to do undo flight. We're just going to undo an exit. So we're just going to go out of this exit. I think we should go to the tutorials. Let's start playing. So design tutorial. You've got flight tutorial, launch craft, build craft, maximum thrust. Wow. That is a lot of stuff. We're going to do the first few. Let's find out. So basically remember guys, you'll find this down below. In the description, this is something you want to do. So, welcome to Zen. First, let me show you how to move the view around so you can do this. All right. Uh, move the view, right clicking in the background. Uh, great. Now, let's reset your view back to the. So, click the view options menu in the left. 
And there we go. So it centers this. Let's start building. The first step is to add a fuel tank below the command pod. That was actually the fuel tank. Well, that's noted. There we go. Fuel tank. And drag you on. And you can connect it there. Or you can connect it there. You can nice be arrows there. You can also connect up the top. But we're going to put it there. We can then adjust if we wish to. You can make it bigger, smaller. I'm going to make it like about that. I'm going to maybe just maybe do that. And make it a little bit like that. Hey, hey. A little bit more length as well. There we go. Now we need to resize to match the desired side, which is flashing green. Ah, okay. So you need to actually... Alright. Drag that. So you want... Oh, you want it like that? Oh, okay. Fine. <laughs> Fine. Fine. Uh, enter stage. Use this to split your craft in two stages. Oh, okay. Interesting. So many things to do. Right, we need another fuel tank. And we need to... Oh, God. This... That's quite the fuel tank. And put a bigger one. Alright, okay, so now we're going to add side boosters. Do we have to? Side enter stage. Alright, put that on. Oh, okay. Jeez. Add another fuel tank here. And then make it bigger. And make it bigger. And then we'll add on one of, one of these. Alright. We're making quite a little rocket here, actually. It's pretty cool. Pretty cool. What is that, actually? Nose cone. Just a nose cone. Alright. Okay. Uh, now we can enable symmetry mode on this part, and we can duplicate our work to the other side. Click on the side interchange, so we can click this, and click that. Put that on, and it mirrors across. Very nice. Very nice. What happens if we... Radio? You can't do radio. Now we can use symmetry mode on this part, so we can duplicate our work to the other side. Click, uh, circle through the modes until you get to Radio XZ. Oh wait, Radio X2. There we go. Wait, did that then put it all the way around? Right, so solar panels, uh, solar panels are fun. Let's add some. <laughs> I love how it doesn't get, it's like, solar, they're, they're just fun. They do, the, they do fun things. Let's put that there. And then we go down here. Mirror. So you can see it'll add everything on there. So click through until we get to that. There we go. And come out of that. Like many other parts, the solar panel array is highly customizable. Click the parts for options. So we can go in here. Ooh, look at this. This is so cool. Oh, you can actually... Oh. How cool is that? Change the rules to four. Oh, wait. Ch let me change the rule size to one. And the rule size to four. Ah, okay. There we go. So, one last step before we call it a day. Let's look at the staging for this rocket. Staging just means the order that parts are activated. Stage 1 activates first, followed by stage 2, etc. Typically, your big engines should activate first and burn away, burn up their fuel. When they're empty, use interchanges to jettison them to lighten the load for the later stage. Click on the staging editor. So, we can see here we got all these. So, click on stage 1, get engines, and we want to add stage... Add... St Click the Add Stage button to add Stage 5. Add Stage. Right, so normally staging is calculated on me, but sometimes you need to rearrange things. I purposely messed up the staging for this rocket, so we'll need to fix it. The Pixie engine should not turn on until after the large boosters have jets. To do this, we need to move the last, move it to the last stage. So you can move it up to here. And there we go. Hey, I built a rocket! Excellent, you've built a multi-stage rocket. You should check out the flight tutorial next to learn how to fly this masterpiece. Where everything will go... Boom. Let's jump in and see what we have here. Alright. Is this our rocket? Yes, this is our rocket. Let me show you how to get this craft into opera. I may pause the game periodically so you have time to adjust the controls. T tab key to show the nav sphere. Alright, so we got that there. Press enter key to enter the heading lock. There we go. Nav here controls your craft's heading. When heading lock is enabled, your craft will always turn to the point towards the blue triangle. So this little guy here. The white cone is the direction your craft is currently pointing. This guy. Press and hold shift to 100%. Right. Press the P key to unlock. Right. Press the P key to activate 
your first stage. Oh god! Okay, and away it goes! Keep going to your altitude is about... Right, okay, uh, oh dear. Right, you stay there. Press P key, so keep going until you uh, press P key to unpause. Alright, so does it, time to start a gravity turn so you can start building up lateral speed while we climb. Click and drag anywhere in the blue circle until your pitch is set to 75. Oh, okay. Hold, press and hold left control to throttle to 60%. Oh. Bring that up a little bit. There we go. And unpause. Whoa, okay. Continue like this until about 5,000. I love how you can just move this around. Look at this guy. It's very nice. Like, visually, it is very, very nice. Like, the modeling work here is very nice. Obviously, you got a very plain background here. It's got a simple texture over it. But again, I wouldn't be expecting anything other to be on that. So adjust your gravity turn to help increase your lateral speed. So again, adjust to 45. Uh, continue like this until your altitude is about 15,000 meters. We need to, a lot of lateral speed to get into orbit. What happens if I increase? Oh, oh. Uh. Okay, what did that? What the heck did I press? Just your gravity turn to help increase your lateral speed. Press the M key to exit them. Okay. Right, so continue like that until fifteen hundred. I don't think it really matters where where you go from here. Trust your gravity to help increase our lateral speed. Click and drag anywhere in the orange nav circle until the heading is set to 80 east. Uh, so, east. Jesus, this is quite intricate. Very intricate. So, click and drag anywhere in the orange circle until your heading is 90 east. There we go. Click and drag anywhere in the blue circle until it's at 45. Uh, continue like that, okay. Let's go. Your shift. Go faster! Oh, balls, doesn't want me to go faster. <laughs> Damn. Okay, fine. you also got this on the left hand side. You can move that up or down, depending on what you like. So, click and drag anywhere in the blue nav circle to set the pitch to 30. Sure, we're not going to end up just crashing the earth or something. Hold shift to throttle to 100%. Let's do this! Does it tell you anywhere where, how much fuel you have left? So I'm not seeing how much fuel we have. Uh oh. What did I do? Well, great. Now it's time to activate the next two stages, which will jettison those empty fuel tanks and then start your next engine. So press the P. So great. Now it's time to So press the P key to. Uh, press the space key to jettison empty fuel. Woohoo! Press P to start the next engine. Whee! <laughs> this is pretty cool. I like it. Now let's take a look at the map view. So, perfect. The blue core. Oh, wait. The blue cone uh, is your craft. So, this here. And the blue line is your predicted trajectory orbit. The green arrow is your apophysis, I think that says. Which is the highest point along your orbit. The other lines are your trajectories for the boosters you jettisoned. Fast forward in the top right to speed things up. Warp can now be enabled when the craft is grounded or outside. Huh. Perfect. The blue cone in your left, the blue one is predicted trajectory orbit. The green arrow is your process. Wait until your process is about 125 kilometers. Speed this up? No. I don't know if I should be worried about this. Can I actually do this? No, I'm not allowed. <laughs> Game's like, nope, you're not allowed. Doing great. Now, tab key to show the nav spheres. All right, so we've got the nav spheres up here. Click and drag anywhere in the blue circle to pitch it to 30 degrees. There we go. Nope. 
actually that way. Okay, tap to hide that. All right, and begin. Oh, we're heading out. Let's go! Woohoo! Also, now we need to kill the engines and wait. Press the X key to kill your throttle. Uh, wait until uh, we are 30 seconds from the pulses to do our next burn. So let's fast forward in time. won't actually let me play that in there. I wish it would. Beautiful music though. I'm, lo I'm loving the music. It's very nice and beautiful. While we're waiting, I just want to say thanks for playing our game. Well, thank you very much for sending it over, of course. So it looks like we're going up, down. I, I don't You can see some orbit details here. Wow. There's a lot of information. A lot of nice information. Burn gizmo sensitivity. Alright then. I think that may be... Wait until a bit further to, to do the next burn. Right, so it's like this. Nope. You don't want me doing that. Okay. Fine. Fine. It's like, fine then. Be that way. I'm assuming it means 30 seconds because, like, if you're speeding this up, that's clearly faster than a second. So, I think that's what it is. Wait until we are... Oh, oh wait until we are 30 seconds. Okay, so press the M key to go to the map. Alright, the green cone uh, on the NAS here to lock your heading on your pro, pro grade. Alright. Locked velocity. Click the green cone. Now we're ahead and lock our prograde. Prograde just means the direction the craft is moving. This will ensure we burn efficiently as we reach the peak of our orbit. Left shift, shift up there and press P. Whoa! Can tell you this until our engines run out of fuel. You can see here, seven percent, five percent, and out it goes. Press the key to chat in the soon and begin. Look at this little guy. Alright, let's see. We're almost there. Now we need to burn until the orange parathus arrow shows up. The parathus is the lowest point in our orbit and we want it to be well above the atmosphere. Zoom out a little further. A little further. How far do you want me to zoom out? Jesus. We're almost there. Now we need to burn until the orange So press P key. Wait until the parathus is 100 kilometers. Let's speed this up. So I take it that's going to go down. Oh, okay. I think it's that, actually. You did it! Okay, kill your engines. X. P to unpause. So M to exit. And activation panel to open. So where is the activation panel? This is pretty cool. Click on the activation panel icon to open activation panel. This, I think. Yep. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Oh, that is, that is very nice. Oh, I'm gonna lock you in there. You've achieved orbit, yay! <laughs> I quite like that. It's got some pretty beautiful music going on as well. Uh, launch, so ready launch gives this craft a, a flight name and launch. Uh, build craft, maximum thrust. So that seems to be your tutorial and then it's like, do whatever you want. Uh, lunar punch. Uh, get to Luna as fast as you can. Don't worry about landing. The timer stops whenever you smash into the surface. You have 10 hours to accomplish your mission. Is that actually 10 hours in real time or not? Legend. Our shuttle was coming in for landing when we remembered that we don't ha know how to pilot. Kind of want to jump into this just to show you guys a little bit of a difference in type of things. So we got this guy. So let's see. Uh, land the shuttle. Oh dear. Uh, cheers game, you literally, do you have an any fuel? No, we don't have any fuel. Okay, well, <sighs> okay, this is not terrifying at all. 
And release the parachutes. No. Out of a group one. Group two. Three. What? What is what? I've activated it all. This as well. Ah! No! Um, no, we don't need to do a barrel. <laughs> Crap. Uh, okay, we could do a barrel if you want to, game. Um, not sure that's the thing we wanted to do. Get up. Oh, God, not again. I mean, this bit survived. Love how the game didn't end or consider it failure until the fuel popped. So... That's the thing. All right, so let's see. We need to adjust our heading. Nope. Uh, how do we get... I don't know what any of these are. I mean, that's a fuel tank. All right, so where where are these parachutes that are meant to come out? Uh, oh God! Oh no! I I mean, it doesn't let you actually activate the parachute, which is weird. Because it does say there is a parachute, so we'd be assuming the parachute in here somewhere. Oh, parachute, parachute. Right, so active. Hey, okay, so we got the parachute going. Don't know what that's doing. All right, it's coming this way. There we go. Now we're going. Now we're. Oh dear. Now we're doing okay. All right, so if we pitch you up the way, no, I said, oh God, that is not what I wanted it to do. Oh dear. Well, that's not gonna work. Let's try something else. <laughs> what else we got here, actually? Timed orbit escaped drool. Launch from drool and achieve escape velocity. Hmm? Landing practice. No, we didn't get that done. Docking practice. Docking? Practice docking with satellite. Ooh. I do have an interest. So yeah, there's a lot of you can build. And there's a lot of other things you can do here. This is interesting. Okay, so... I guess we have to... What if you could just be like, ah? Right, uh, what happens if I do this? <laughs> That's what happens. Fair enough. Wait, is, it, is everything explodable? Apparently. What about this? What happens if I do this? Or this? This? <laughs> it's like, what happens if you do this? Pop. All right, uh, okay, right, um... Uh, kill that engine. Oh, sorry! So, so, no, come back, come, come back! C no. Ugh, damn it. You stay still. Right, we need to adjust our heading that way. Right. And kill the engine. No! Oh, God dang it. Okay. Ah! No, 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 no. Oh, God. Okay, I'm no good at this. Some of you other people will be good at this. I'm not good at this. No, 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 no. 
Way to... How to end game? Make yourself explode. Well guys, this has been Simple Rockets 2. I have been Fraz. Thank you very much for watching this Smash Look at it. I'll leave all the links down below. If you're enjoying seeing it, Smash Gaming though, please be sure to hit that subscribe button and come back for more. See y'all next time.